Here's something you are not going to see every day, and I believe this is about the first time I ever witnessed it. Someone sent me a picture, and it looks something like this. The edge of the landing, the front uh, nosing, was located about in the middle of the doorway, and in reality it needs to come out to the edge of the door, and of course that would depend upon the width of the door. The, I think most building codes require a minimum of 36 inches, three feet in both directions. But of course that would change if you had a door and I'm not familiar with those building codes. But realistically, the only way you're going to fix something like this will be to shorten the width uh, or the depth of each individual step. And it's the only way I could think of fixing something like this and it would be up to you to figure out if it's going to be even worth changing and uh, because sometimes you are going to create a bigger problem by you know having a tread that might be a little smaller than uh, approved by the building code so you're basically trying to solve one problem make the landing a little longer but if you don't have enough room you're going to be creating another problem by making the steps a little smaller or the risers a little taller. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what we got here. You can see here these are 10 inch treads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we would have 70 inches between the face up of the landing at the top and the face of the lower tread if we drew a horizontal, horizontal line. I'll show you more of what I'm talking about there in a second. So this right here will give us seven more inches. Seven steps, we take one inch off of each step and we now have a nine inch tread. This is an illegal tread according to most building codes, but you would need to verify that in your community or your through your local building and safety department. If you're looking for a method to fix something like this, you don't want to tear apart the stairs, you could simply add incremental sections to the front of each step to create the new stairway. So we're at seven inches here. We would need to add a seven inch piece to the top and only a one inch piece here. You would add one inches, two inches, three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches, and seven inches to the front of the stairs to eliminate um, cutting a new set of stairs or building a new stairway. So something like this might work. Again, I'm just kind of throwing out an idea here. Something else you might want to do would be to remove one of these steps. So we have seven here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 5 foot 10 inches, which is 70 inches. And if we simply make it a little smaller, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 steps, if we can eliminate a step, but that would increase the riser height, then uh, that might be another option. But of course, this would be, this would involve tearing apart the stairway and rebuilding it. Now for the bad news, I would imagine that your stairway was built that way for a reason and you might not have enough room to build a stairway that's going to meet local building codes. So let's just go over the building codes. Seven and three quarters of an inch is usually the maximum height for each individual riser. And the depth is usually going to be 10 inches for a residential set of stairs for a private dwelling. Now you would need to check with your local building department to verify that information. And I don't, I, I hate to say this, I wouldn't bring this to your building department's attention. I wouldn't say, you know what, I've got a problem here because they could make you do some work here. So I'll leave it up to you whether or not you want to bring it to their attention. I have known people who have brought stuff like this to their attention and it's cost them thousands of dollars, but I'll leave it up to you. You want to leave something unsafe or you want to fix it, do it right. That will be your final decision. Now here's the distance I was talking about when I was asking the person in the email to measure between the doors. 
you know, if you have enough room here, this will determine your tread size and how many treads you'll be able to use. If you have 70 inches here, then you're going to be able to put seven steps. If you have 60 inches, but you need seven steps, you're probably not going to be building a safe stairway. So I, I think I've driven that point home enough. You would need to do all the calculations. If you need more help, I do have more videos on that and uh, a book on how to build a straight set of stairs that might be helpful. Of course, you might need the book, How to Build a Set of Stairs with a Landing for this one. And they're relatively inexpensive. I will put a link in the description box to our website where those books uh, can be purchased.